With the Create Region tool, you can create a complex shape from existing elements. The new element can be associated with the original elements. You can find this tool in the Ribbon Groups Ribbon Group on the Home Ribbon tab. In this lesson, you will learn Create Region. Continuing in Learning.dgn, open the Create Region model. Here we'll create new filled elements from the existing red colored elements using the Create Region tool. First, we'll create three filled shapes from the two blocks on the left. Select the Create Region tool and set the following options. Method, Intersection. Fill Type, Opaque. Fill Color, 2. Keep Original, Enabled. Associative Region Boundary, Enabled. Focusing on the two overlapping blocks on the left, select each block with a data point and accept with another data point. A new green colored element is created from the intersection of the two blocks. In the Tool Settings window, change the following settings to Method, Difference. Fill Color, 7. Data point on the left shape, then the right shape. Data point to accept. Note how the new shape is placed in the first block we clicked on. The order in which you select the elements sets where the new element appears. Let's try this again. Set the following setting in the Tool Settings window. Fill color. Data point on the right block, then on the left block, and data point to accept. Note how the yellow colored region appears in the right block. In this next exercise, we'll show you how to use the flood method to create a filled shape. Focus on the four crossing lines for this exercise. Lines placed like this do not have a closed area like closed elements such as a block or circle does. For this reason, we cannot use the intersection, union, or difference methods to create our region. Instead, we'll use the flood method. With create region still active, in the tool settings window, change the method to flood and set the color to one. Data point inside the area bounded by the four lines. Data point again to accept the results. In the third figure, we'll continue to use the flood method. However, this time, we will want to keep the region from filling the block and text located within the area bound by the six lines. To accomplish this, we need to change some tool settings. Fill color, 6. Fill option, locate interior shapes. Additional fill option, locate interior text. Text margin, 0 0.4. We're ready to fill the area. Data point once inside the lines, then again to accept the fill. Note how the area inside the bounding lines is orange, but does not fill either the shape within the boundary or the text thanks to the adjustment of the flood methods tool settings. In this final exercise, we'll continue to use the flood method. However, this time we'll exclude elements that create a boundary we don't want. The intent is to fill the lower half of the circle without the interference of the two blue lines. To do this, we'll use the element selection tool to isolate the elements we want to use prior to creating the region. Select the element selection tool on the right hand side of the elements, drag a selection box from the lower right to the upper left only over the portion of the two red elements. You may recall that element selection's selection box acts different depending on the direction you drag it. 
Reselect the Create Region tool with the Flood method and set the color to 9. Data point in the bottom half of the circle and accept with a data point. Note the results. The complete lower half of the circle is covered by the new filled element, disregarding the blue lines. Clear the selection set by once again selecting the Element Selection tool and click anywhere in View 1. Here's a couple of useful things to know about creating regions. When using the flood method, selecting elements in advance gives you more control over which elements MicroStation will use to define the boundary of the new element. When the tool setting Associative Region Boundary is enabled, the newly created element retains an association with the original elements used to create it. This means that if any of the original elements associated to its creation are modified, then the new region element updates to match the change. In this video, you learned about creating regions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.